Can you control how to play the game, boy? You gotta learn to play it right. You got to know when to hold. Know when to fold up. Know when to walk away. And know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the deal is done. I mean, the truer words have never been spoken. I don't care if you're trading the OTC, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, crypto, NFTs, what have you, gold, metals, platinum, commodities, uh, options, calls. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. But before I get into anything, uh, I, I just want to ask uh, for the grace of our Lord and Savior, for the gifts of God, who he has the, the gifts that he has presented you in your past, your presence, and your future in his holy name, blessed be thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Let it rain your righteousness upon us for all of eternity, please, for the love of him. Subscribe, like, and comment on this channel. I do this all for free. I haven't even tried to monetize yet because I still got to uh, delete some previous videos where I absolutely went off. Not even going to get into what I went off on. I probably have already said too much. It's a shame these days that we have to watch what we say, but that's the, that it's their platform. You play by the rules or you don't play. I mean, that is what it is. If I wanted to go to rumble, I could, but in, it's just not as much there. I, hopefully they get bigger and I can go over there and say whatever the hell I want to say. But for now, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's a shame. I feel like a sellout. I feel like a bum. I feel like a crumb. I feel like a piece of literal crap, but it is what it is. I, there's nothing I can do about it. So either way, good old uh, Kenny Rogers, just saying it straight, saying the facts of a gambler, because really what stock trading is, is educated gambles. Um, but we're going to, I listen, it's 540 my time. I usually, it's almost uploaded at this point, um, and I'm just getting started, and I got a lot of stuff to go over. I just don't want this to come out too late but either way the reason why i bring that up is because of uh what's it called today um what I was trading, uh, or what I traded out of actually was IDVV. Uh, it gave me the news that I wanted. I knew that the news was expected. It was uh, told by the company that we were supposed to expect news by the end of the week it can't, or this week at some point. Wednesday, I'm so glad that I bought yesterday because it came out today, which is perfect. You can't beat that overnight trade with news in the morning, pre-market. I, I didn't get sucked into the hype. I didn't go into what could I buy, what could I get? What I watched the action. I saw that the I had over a million shares, so I needed the volume to get out to liquidate. I saw that that happened at around three, five. I knew that four was the top, but I knew people were like me and they're a little bit more antsy in this economy, so they're going to get out a little bit quicker. Quicker. So I said, I, I don't need the I don't need the 15 ticks. Tens is enough from 25. That's 40 percent. That's real quick. That's real quick. That's one day. That's overnight. That's 40 percent return on investment. Something that you're not going to see in any other industry. I don't care what you work in. I don't care what you've seen. I don't care who you are. I don't care what gender you identify as. I don't care if you're non-binary. I don't care if you're a goddamn spoon. Okay, regardless, the fact of the matter is 40% overnight ROI is something that gets me wet. It makes me, okay, enough, enough. Before I start getting, you know, stiff over here. Because, I, you know, you can't beat it. Um, but anyway, got out, got out pretty much at the top and now it's lingered, volume died. And that's just an example of know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when the news isn't going to get you there, know when people are up 100% and they're ready to take gains, know when the company is going to start diluting, know that if it's recycled news, it ain't going to have the same market it did before. Uh, there's plenty of reasons, but let's just go over the chart right now. Let's see how uh, smooth this is. Okay, not that smooth. Let's go Command Z, uh, which is a shortcut. Again, technical genius here. Um, even though I don't know why I look like Walker, Texas Ranger, definitely going to have to do that in the future. Um, but this is the closest I could come up to his outfit. So give me a break, would you? I'm not a costume expert. I'm not a, a master of uh, costume. I'm not, uh, you know, a, 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 a sozman. I'm not a, um, what is it called? I don't know. I need to get into this video. I say, what am I doing here? You know, it's, it's when I'm talking. I can't double task or multitask. All right, we're good now. It better be good. Um, if this doesn't work, then you're, you guys don't get a video tonight. So we're going to start with IDVV.
uh, yeah, see, I mean, like, I knew that it was going to pr- going to try and flag, you know, I, I don't know. It closed at 2.8. I'm not, let's see, that's what I'm saying. That 3.5 to 2.8 difference meant the difference of like $800 to me uh, or 850 bucks. So if I didn't sell, that would have been dumb. You know what I mean? That's, that's why like you just take what you can get. But either way, I'm not saying that this is over. There is still news that is expected on Friday um, in the term of financial sheet or financial release. But I do think that they're going to delay given the fact that pretty much every single uh, penny sheet stock delays every single time. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But this is, uh, you know, it's still a good setup. Uh, I don't know that the delay will affect it as much. Uh, it's on a steady incline here. The trend is looking good still. It's not like it lost uh, the trend of going up, but um, I still sold it the high of the day. So I got to give myself a little bit of credit there and got to be excited about it. And I rolled it over into other stocks and that's like how the game game is played. It could have kept running and I could have been a little bit sad about it. Uh, but sometimes you're going to be a little bit sad, but be sad over a gain. Don't be sad over holding your hands and going back to break even, not having volume and being like, what the hell did I do? Um, I'd much rather take a smaller gain than end up in that situation. Now we got AMC, which I see a lot of pumpers out there uh, really talking about this because they know they're going to get a lot of uh, interaction on their page. I mean, I can literally just be the biggest AMC pumper on earth. By the way, T all the time. It doesn't really matter what you're doing, where you're at, who you're with. T all the time. T every time, all the time. T every single time, all the time. Um, but we're going to do AMC and we're going to go over the fact that the pumpers are really on this one because they have a lot of people that are still bagged in this. They know that people just want to hear anything good about their, their lovely AMC, the stock to change all stocks, the cho- stock that goes up against the U.S. government and the Fed. Yeah, good luck with that. That's great. I told you to buy it four and sell it five, at the crease or the um, break of this middle band. Uh, it's, your technicals are still good. Your volume is, is uh, died a little bit today. Yesterday, you had a big buyout rumor. Guys, take advantage of these things. Don't believe them. If they really get bought out by Amazon, you'll know that. Um, it's not like it's going to open up at a million dollars. Uh, if they really got bought out by Amazon, I don't, I don't know what, I guess for locations, um, kind of like they've done with JC Penney, uh, and, and department stores, that's your best bet. I don't know that they're going to buy them out and make them better. Um, I think the movies are starting. If you actually use your mind and don't just listen to what people say on the internet, movie theaters aren't doing as good as they used to. So why would it be worth any more than it used to? Especially after COVID when they were shut down and lost a lot of money. Um, So, you know, if you actually listen to your head and uh, look at the fundamentals, you're crazy. To think that it's worth any more than $10 max. I mean, even that's giving you a lot. Um, ADHC. Now that's the honest truth. Now, if you want to, if you want to get lied to, then you go to any other page and they'll tell you something differently. By all means, do it, be a diamond hand hodler and die. I mean, listen, I'm not going to come to your funeral and your parents probably won't either because you blew their inheritance money. Um, they're on, on AMC and that's, and Hey, you live, you learn, you make mistakes. Um, but I won't be there. Uh, I won't be there to sing your song of, of nighty night. Um, ADHC, I don't know, ADHC, uh, brilliant. Um, This is one that I got in today, thank God. I saw that they came out with a hint of news early next week. Brilliant. This is the perfect time to buy. I'm telling you guys, this is how you trade. This is exactly what I did with IDVV. I bought in on the hint of news. News came out, sold, bing, bang, bop, 40%, didn't think twice. ADHC has it coming out in a couple days. Now, why is this even better than IDVV setup? You have a very long resistance here. Uh, It seems like this one was at like 33, closed above that. Seems like these three were at like three, closed above that. Um, Showed bullishness. No one's wanted to sell. And the twos are pretty much gone. Um, With that hint of news, nobody's going to sell now. It's only going to be buying. The only shares that are available are on the ask. Uh, You're breaking out of the range. You're looking at a top side of Seven. Um, you're going to get news sometimes next week. If it's good news, it could run really, really hard. Very thin stock. If it's just everyday news, I'll do the same thing with IDVV. I'll take my uh, 40, 50% and I'll run for the hills. Um, that's how it's done. Um, okay, so that is in a very good setup. That's probably my favorite stock of all time right now. Moan. 
Wow, they had a, actually had a bounce in Mullen today. This could be the reverse. This is the type of candles we look for. Very good for anybody holding through the fire. Even though I always say, take your 10% loss, uh, you could be looking for an upswing here. Now, the reason why I say take your 10% loss, because if it broke down below this middle orange band, which is something that we usually look for, then it sends you to the core of the earth to live with the devil and all of his demons. If you sell 10% loss, then you can get back in at the bottom once you see a reversal candle like this. Now, I'm not saying that it is truly reversal. But with your RSI all the way down at 25, your MACD all the way down here, and your volume volume coming in, this guy's going through uh, uh, lawsuits now, defamation lawsuits, absolute nonsense. Uh, you know, it's just another pump piece to get a stock off the ground. If you want to, if you want to destroy your shareholders and take your stock from two dollars to ten cents, and um, expect people to have re bad reviews of your company, you piece of literal shit, uh, you, go after me too. I'm calling you a fucking piece. Excuse me, I, I can't say that. Damn. Um, I'm calling you, but I'm going to call you a piece of shit because that's what you are. I mean, you're a scumbag. You're, you're a, you're a criminal. Okay. In my opinion. Um, and in a lot of other people's opinion, go ahead, sue them away. Sue me. I don't care. You'll never win that in court because nothing on this page will affect your bottom line. You piece of scum. God, I hate these CEOs. I really do. Uh, I really can't stand what they stand for, which is lies. Um, they, they lie to everybody on a daily basis just to dilute their bones to dust, to send them to the core, to send them six feet deep to live next to their grandparents in holy matrimony and solace and sorrow for the rest of eternity. Um, this is TRKA, and it's about to make a bunch of new bag holders. Why? Because, now listen, hear me out. Or just turn it off and get mad and be like, I'm only a bull. I'll only listen to bullish things because I can only listen to bullish things. Well, what did that get you when I told you to sell 95 and everybody called me a ding dong dong? Okay, everybody called me a dum dum up here, and uh, what happened? Oh, buy buy share price all the way back down to six. Hey. You didn't listen then. You gonna listen here? You gonna listen here? You better get a lot of push through. You might go to 40 sure on a bunch of noobs buying in at the top, but but you better take your gain there. You better take your gain because it got rejected at this middle band close below it. And once people really, and now your technicals look great. I'm not saying that it can't keep running from here, but don't believe in this GNS buying them out. GNS in and of itself is a scam. It sells NFTs. What are you 19? If you are above the age of 19 and you believe in an NFT scam to buy out another company that you're both bagged in, quit trading. Go back to trade school, the one where you learn how to put down flooring and make your 40 bucks an hour in 10 years or five years or however good you are at the trade. But get off your computer and that's for sure. If you think the GNS and TRKA are going to take you to the promised land through a massive short squeeze that I keep seeing on these boards, hey, quit what you're doing, go to psychiatrist, get some Metamucil or Liopram or whatever they use for brains and medicate. Because you have, your brain's not working correctly. I'm very happy for you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was looking at this. I was looking to get in at 15, which I told everybody was going to come down to. Came back to, down to 16.5, okay? Can't get more technical from there, from all the way up the top at 95, saying it's going to come back to a certain price, and it almost hit it on the nail on the head, okay? Uh, but, you know, you got your pop off this previous line of resistance. Beautiful. Love it for you. If you're in it, and especially if you're in it and you're up double, take the gains or take them at 40, whatever you're going to do. But don't, I, I'm just trying to help out here. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of advice. Listen, don't listen. If you're long, sure. I hope you make a million bucks, you know. But GNS, same thing. If you're in GNS, I just gave a long explanation in TRKA, which I think of both of these stocks for the most part. Uh, you're on a downtrend here, folks. You are you keep closing below this middle band until you retake that with strength. I just cannot get behind this stock. I don't believe in this stock. I never did, even when it was up here and I told everybody to sell seven and now it's all the way down at 150. I mean, listen, it is what it is, okay? But your technicals are getting oversold. You have no volume because the interest is gone. Nobody cares about the stock anymore. Now, that's what they're trying to stir up right now with TRKA and say, they're going to buy them and yada, 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 but they sell NFTs. You'd have to be 19 to actually believe in something that is, is just, you know, just watch my TRKA bit because I don't even have a, more time to waste. Okay. 
and get mad at me, don't subscribe, whatever. But when it, when the stock uh, performs as I say it shall, maybe you'll come back and repent for thine sins. Um, and I will choose whether to forgive or whether not to forgive. Um, so we're looking at uh, EPAS here. Um, this is one that I said again yesterday. So I, I screamed it from the mountaintops, from the reptars to the reptars, uh, from Nepal to the Himalayas. Okay, I said... Sell 13 into the bid at the close, or you're going to be sorry. Where did it close to, or what did it get all the way down to today? 92. You sell 13, you really like the stock, buy it back. It's still holding the trend, but stop saying that you're like, oh, you're fine with your account going like this. Try harder. Just saying that, oh, well, I save money on taxes. That ain't gonna fly with me because I know what the taxes are and I'd much rather spend more, 8% more to actually make money instead of it going like this for five months and then going back to my average. <laughs> Jesus, dude. You got people that say that are just their excuse for being lazy and not knowing where to sell, not use it. And, and when they're back down to where they were, they're like, wait, I didn't even, I don't even care that I didn't sell, dude. Like, whatever, bro. I missed out on like flipping for like a thousand bucks and get right back in with an extra thousand bucks. I don't even care, dude. It's like chill, dude. I don't day trade, dude. I'm trying to save like uh, taxes, dude. Box D. Flip the stock. Sell the news. If you get 60%, you better thank God. You better bow down and praise him with all within you. Um, box D. Uh, again, another one I screamed. I said, sell the stizak. Sell the stizak. No one listened. No one listened. And now they live with the devil. Um... And that's the, that's the case. That's just what it is, folks. You get this pop to this middle band, it rejects it just like it's doing in other ones. And it's going to come back and it's going to fill that gap. It's going to come back and give you a W formation. You can always buy back in when it double bottoms at 12. TGII. I really have to hurry. I really have to hurry. I'm only done five and there's like an hour gone. I really have to stop singing. Um, okay, terrible looking chart in the sense that the frame, the time frame is bad. Now we're going to go over our technicals here. Uh, your RSI looks great, headed into the hot zone. Um, your MACD is kind of starting, but it's pretty much flatline, not much going on, long period of consolidation. Uh, you know, you're not getting any volume. Nothing I see here yet. Remember, when you mention a stock, if you say TGGI, let me know why TGGI. Take the extra time. That will make the review a lot better because I'll actually remember it uh, and I'll be able to say, okay, this is why this might heat up soon. Because if I'm just looking at this chart, I'm like, it gives me nothing. It's just a flat line trading sideways uh, with really nothing to go off of. So remember to give me that information and I'll make sure to go over it tomorrow as well uh, with the update. GMZP, uh, another one I've just been hitting recently. Sometimes you get the hot hand, but you got to know when to walk from the table. Remember that. Don't, don't have to trade every day. Don't need to be an action junkie. Make your money. Move tables. Go get some lunch. Take a shot. Of, don't actually drink. Stay sober. Stay hydrated eat carbs, eat good ones like natural rices and oats, eat proteins, eat vegetables, eat fruits. Sorry. Um, but know when to walk. Now, GMZP has a lot more room to run. It's going at a beautiful close today. Going to close at, or going to get hit 12 tomorrow, 0 0.012 with almost a, a no shadow of a doubt consolidated very nicely all day in the mid nines. Um, I did not sell out and take a smaller game because I, this is a breakout chart. You had the flag and then you had the bing bang bop. Now you have a push to one, two. We see how it re reacts there. Uh, looks gorgeous to me. Looks gorgeous to me. And I'm glad that I bought the eight break, which was the line of resistance to break. And it's been consolidating slowly all the way up. We're going to go with um, Oscar next. 
This continued. Now, this is why I said yesterday, I'm not so sure because, you know, it did come up to this previous resistance, but this is such a hard gap and go. Um, usually, if this was a bad, uh, you know, a bad day or going to be a bad day after, they would have closed this down on this middle line, whatever, but there was way too much strength um, and your technicals were not overbought. Uh, your volume stayed up a little bit. Now, you might flag here. Uh, you might come back down, but I don't know. I mean, this thing seems to have tremendous strength. Uh, it looks really good to me. I think that this could be, keep going even continually now that you have this hard close over this previous resistance. Um, it's been beaten down pretty hard probably over the past couple years. Your volume is there. It seems like a thin stock. I really like the setup on that one. Even though it's super high, um, your technicals aren't ever bought, and I kind of like the setup. And I usually don't say that about stocks like this. Now, this could have just been, this is BMEA, BMEA. This is a, a, another example of one that ran um, really hard yesterday and pulled back at the top, which is fine. Uh, this is a consolidation. It's not, it doesn't give me any really, because I've seen a lot where this has a full day of consolidation. You have a whole trading day where people take uh, their gains, people shave off their gains, whatever they're going to do. Um, you had all day to do that. Chances are they're not going to do it tomorrow. Um, there might be a new wave of new investors that come in, uh, see an opportunity. Maybe the news continues. Maybe the flow of a PR continues. Material events continue to happen. There's filings, what have you, and it could continue. Now, it's going to be a close watch. You do have a gap to the downside, which is always kind of scary, but you close so high above this with so much time to consolidate. I really don't see a problem with buying this, at least on speculation, especially if you're able to day trade, uh, get in and get out. Always take a 10% loss no matter what, which gives you an option to buy something that high if you're willing to get out uh, really quickly and move on to something else. Um, gold, been going through the ringer recently. They hate gold. They do not want gold to succeed. Uh, it's also a very slow mover. It's a commodity that should be trading at about $4,000, $5,000. It's currently under $2,000. Whenever it gets to $2,000, it, it gets rejected. There is a hidden hand. You want to talk about manipulation in stocks. It doesn't happen in all of them. Um, it doesn't happen in your GNS scams and all that stuff. That's all nonsense. That's just dilution. The company's dumping on your face and using the guise of manipulation to try and fool you. Okay, they're lying to you. Learn when someone's lying to you. Okay, it's like going to a uh, mechanic and saying they're saying that your car's totaled and they need to do $20,000 worth of work when all you needed was an oil change. Okay, it's the same idea. Would you be like, oh, for real? No, you'd be like, no, obviously, no, I'm going to go to the next guy. Okay. Um, but you always scream their praises. They're diluting on your face and you're like, it's manipulation. It's manipulation. You sound like an idiot. Okay, if anything's manipulated, it's gold. And that's probably one of the only things that's truly manipulated because the U.S. government does not want the worth of gold to go up because it basically is going directly against the dollar. You do the math. Whoever controls the money system controls the country. And those are your central banks. Those are your bankers. And they, I'm not, I cannot say another word. CGRA. This is why you uh, know, when, know when the fight wasn't won. There was supposed to be news that came out. There was news that came out when it pulled back a little bit like this. They had the chance to send it. They didn't take advantage. They recycled news that were, was nonsense. Uh, they basically said the same thing twice. So I said, obviously, that's not going to do anything to the share price. Got out, break even, didn't think twice. And that was at 16 um, or 15.8, somewhere around there. Now it's all the way back down to... Uh, almost a penny. Okay. So you do the math on that. You see that I saved myself time and I also saved myself money. Uh, this thing looks like a, your classic P and D back, back or back here. It was an oil company that was supposed to have billions of billions of dollars in reverbs or, or reserves. I told everybody that it was nonsense. Got a bunch of people bagged. Those people are probably still bagged. Now it's a, it's a gym company. You see all these companies work. Usually they give it a little bit of time. This one didn't. There's a new guy that came in, sa same guy that runs Illus. Hopefully he can do something. He can change the uh, trajectory of the stock trajectory of the stock trajectory. 
Yeah, that wouldn't work, right? I don't even know if that's a word. Trajectory of this stock, but for now, it remains a POS, and it remains a turd, a stinky pinky, whatever you want to call it. I'll be looking to buy back in, uh, maybe sub penny. We'll have to see. Uh, either way, it's always good to keep these on your watch list. You never know when news is going to come out that might change it. Um, they, they, you know, they have a few things in the pipeline that could pop up. So always keep your eyes on everything, not just what you're interested in. Ruby. Uh, I'm also surprised that this thing did not has not tanked yet. Uh, that's the weird thing about the market. Apparently, one of my subscribers came on and said that there was something with this stock where they were like completely out of luck. It was like a Form 25, which is, a, I guess, a complete delisting where they fire all their employees and they're basically an empty shell. I, I don't know. I'd have to look more into that. Um, I have, I'm not familiar with this as I usually don't play delistings or anything like that, bankruptcies. Sometimes I played Sears. There's a few things that I've done in that in that realm. But for me, I mean, I try and stay away from this stuff because it's a it's a crapshoot. It's a true gamble. There's no way to really gauge it, just like with what's happening with Ruby. Touch 2.8 today. If you would have bought 15, that's almost a double. Very, very light volume, um, very thin stock, so it can move on air. So there's not a lot of liquidity either. Your technicals look great. But again, I'm not really sure what's going on with this Forum 25. If you have any more information, keep please keep me updated. Um, not exactly sure what's going on with that one, but I'm not sure I want to give it a buy either. Um, BNED. Uh, this looks like it, it could be turning around as well. Now, the market's obviously had some relief today, which is great. Something that you always want to look for. You want to look for that relief, not only sexually, but also financially. You want to relieve yourself everywhere, and uh, it, whether it be in bags or whether it be in a stock like BNED, well, you want to look for that relief. You want to see it. You want to taste it. You want to smell it. You want to touch it. Uh, you want it to stick all over your hands. You want it to... Um, anyway, uh, basically this looks like a good buy-in place for a reversal, probably going to pop back up to 175, not a lot from here, but this is a high liquidity stock, not a lot of volume, sure, but it is a lot of volume in the sense where you could put five grand in this and exit easily. Um, and if you want to do that and take it 155 to 75, that's still what 10%, uh, a little bit over 10%, which is what we're looking for in this market. Last time it had a candle like this, it started last time it had a candle like this, it started, uh, last time it had a candle like this, it uh, met this top band or middle band last time it had a candle like this we're we'll wait to see I think 175 10% is a good uh, push from here uh, just make sure to take gains wherever you're at if you really like the stock and you're willing to go long long then stay in it for as long as you want I'm just trying to tell you the gains are very uh, very seldom to come by you want to get as many as you can uh, PLPL looks like it's on the rise steady rise keeping the trend line to the north staying above this middle band which is great no harsh pullbacks no bad news coming out no hints of an RS or anything bad that comes in the sewers of these trip stocks. PLPL was known for scamming back in the day. Back when I told everybody to sell uh, all the way up here, I said, you better get the hell out. In fact, I sold on this breakout. I sold 13 and went to 18. Everybody called me a moron. Um, I had made my 50%. I was very happy to get out. When it did push all the way up here, I said, you're getting very close to this deadline. They will say that something went wrong and they are going to delay. And what happened the next day, it opened up down 50%. People lost their ass, never apologized, never repented, never asked forgiveness for their sins, never said, Peter Penny, will you forgive me? Will you ask the Lord that you are father, uh, the one that you speak on behalf of, will he forgive us all of our sins? Will he forgive us? Will he give us righteousness again? And I said, no, I said, I will not talk to him. I will not ask him. Well, they never even asked me, but out of the goodness of my heart, usually I will turn the other cheek and I will forgive either way. Um, but this one, I could not, uh, I was called every name in the book came all the way back down to pretty much zero. Now it's headed up again into another pop or another pump take it for what it is, believe it all you want, but I'm going after the history over or uh, off of the history and the history tends to repeat itself and the history ain't good. PPCB, but still my call at five is working out. It's hitting eights. That's very good return on investment. Very good return on investment, folks. PPCB, I wanted to hit this on the ask at five to open the other day, but then I realized, okay, this news is pretty much just reworded. Uh, when I first saw it, you got to make sure that when you see news in the morning, make sure you look into it, at least go to the boards and get, use your better judgment, see what they're saying. Uh, go look at what the bashers are saying to look at your downside. Are they diluting? Do they have notes that are currently uh, converting? 
And if they are, then you got to be uh, weary of that. Now, when I saw that this had a double release PR, I said, okay, that's not going to have the same type of effect. It probably will go up, but given... <coughs> <laughs> that I'm not day trading right now. I can't get in and get out at six. I would have bought five and sold six immediately. No problemo. Uh, I would have probably put five grand in, took six grand out, quick job, bang, bang, boom, boom. Um, but you can't do that because I can't day trade. And uh, I ended up with an issue uh, because if today I would have done that, then I would have had to bid smack five or wait for sixes, which I don't have the time to waste. I'm in and I'm out and I'm, I'm getting through this money. Boy. I get into the money. Duh. But uh, still, long term, uh, this thing is flagging hard. I'm watching for the break of 11. Uh, once you get that on volume, see in the sky, folks. I'll meet you on the moon. We'll have a little cookout. I'll bring the burgers. You bring the buns. I won't eat the buns because I don't eat un unnecessary carbs and that's fine you can, um, but I'll just have the burger meat and I'll just have maybe a little pickle, maybe a little ketchup, give me some little added sugar so that, uh, you know, I could have a little bit of a good time. Okay. Sometimes you need to enjoy things in life, have a little bit of sugar, have, but all in moderation, have enough that you're not sitting there after you're done and feel like a piece of literal crap. Okay, and that's what us Americans seem to want to do a lot recently is just overdo everything, um, overdo our spending. We need houses, even though for the first 10 years, you're only paying maintenance and interest, uh, you know, on your, you're not even paying out the principal, so you're going to have to sell it for basically what it's appreciated to with no equity after 10 years. Don't get full into that scam thing and then, oh, you just buy a house and sell it in 10 years. It's that easy. Okay. Well, then anybody would do it, huh? Um, so AABB, um, this thing had a little bit of a reversal today. Very very, very good. Now, obviously, usually on these sell-offs, uh, you get a pop back, but when you have a close below this middle band, now, kill me, crucify me, stab me in the neck, throw me in a dumpster, throw me in a wood chipper, feed me to your children on the bus in the morning, send them to school with pancakes with my bits chopped up in them, don't care. I'm not. I'm going to tell the truth and only the truth will be told. This is clearly a scam. Okay, and I'll do, I'm starting a, to catch a con show. I will do A, B, A, B, B, and I will lay it out for you. I mean, it's really not that hard. The fact that you can't see it means that you might be wearing, you might be blind, and I, I, I apologize for that. If you do struggle with blindness, by all means, uh, let me know, and I'll lay off of that. But if you're just a normal person and you don't see this, uh, you know, I will lay it out for you directly, but you did have a good, it's still a tradable stock. You sell, you buy the, uh, the downturns, you know, you try and catch the bottom of this at two, you try and get out at two sigs. Great. Brilliant. Maybe it goes back up to three, but you get consistency, uh, selling consistent selling under three. You are in trouble. You could be headed back to one. Eventually this will be a nothing stock. Um, this will not take you to the promised land. This will not feed your kids inheritance. Uh, this will end up destroying you and everything you believe in and will destroy you physically, spiritually, mentally. Um, it will take you to divorce. It will leave you on the brink of extinction, your family's name, because you'll end up killing off your entire family out of hate, out of spite, and out of pain, and out of sorrow, and out of grief. Um, and that's just the way that the world works. GTII. Uh, sure, long play. You're a long holder. This could be a good pick for you. Uh, it does seem like it's on a steady trend. Try and buy in on that trend line. If you're trying to pick a spot, if you're trying to time the market, you get in on that trend line. Uh, over time, this thing could run. I don't know if there's any catalysts in the pipeline. Please let me know if there is. If there is, remember, don't just say GTII. Say GTII because this is the share structure. This is the news expected. This is when the news is expected. <clears throat> this is what the company recently has done. This is the filings that recently came out, and then I'll be able to give your stock a better review. Understand? Get it? Got it? Good? Okay, we're going to jump into DVLP. The fact that I can keep a train of thought this fast is uh, basically uh, puts me on another wavelength beyond computers, beyond technology, beyond AI, um, and it, it uh, okay, there it goes. It's lost. Whenever you get cocky is when you tend to lose. Always remember that. Uh, always keep your head small, especially in trading. If you hit a stock, don't think that you're godsend to the stock market. Don't think that you're a natural, a prodigy, and you could tell everybody what to do because you don't know anything. You know right from wrong. You see the matrix. Just keep your head small, keep focused, and keep doing what you're doing if you're winning. Now we got uh, G DVLP. Look, uh, you know, you're flagging long-term on this daily. Great. 
Again, uh, you know, if you want to trade this channel, great. I'm more, I'm looking for a strong push above four, a strong push above five. You break six, then you really have my interest. Then we might be looking at penny run or what have you. But for right now, it's just trading sideways. Uh, I wish you guys the best. I want, I set my alert, set it five. And when it hits five, that's when I'll buy in. I'm not willing to waste a bunch of time waiting on something that might not come to fruition, all on speculation and what they might have. I want them to show their cards first and you'll always be able to get in. Don't listen to these people that say, well, I hope that you get in before the news because if the news opens up, I've seen maybe... I've seen, uh, you know, uh, 30 to 50% gap up in penny stocks maybe like twice in my life. I've never seen a 100% gap up. I've never seen a 200% gap up. So, you know, don't, don't hit me with that bullshit, am I? Ah, not really seeing much out of this. I mean, this is pretty much just trading at the bottom, which is great. I mean, if you want to buy this and hold it for long, you could be in, but you're like underneath the hot zone for uh, RSI, MACD's flatlined. Uh, your volume isn't like a brilliant. Um, you're currently at 4.8. Uh, you know, it's a sub penny stock and move on, move pretty quickly. I'm not saying that this isn't done. This could form a W formation that could get sent to, you know, even two cents. Um, if you, but this is a very high resistance at 13.5. You're currently at 4.8. You know, that's a big, Big return there. So maybe you soak it up and you wait. GVSI. God, it's getting late. Okay, you're starting to get, you, you know, it tried to do it back here, wasn't strong enough, got sent. Um, I told you that 7, 9, or I said 8 was a good buy and came down to exactly 8. And I said that at 3. Okay. That's called pinpoint precision. Now it looks like it might get going here. Uh, even just a, a trade from eight to one, that's still a very good percentile. That's still 25%, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so, you know, these bad stocks can be traded. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, that's uh, hell on earth. My call was to sell on this break below this middle band. By the way, I've told you that once. I'll tell you it again, and I'll tell you it till I'm blue in the face or dead in the grave. I said sell three, and you didn't listen. You told me I was a moron. Now look at you. Now it came back to eight, exactly how I said to the T. Okay. Uh, now I'm saying that you could be in a sign reversal. Uh, you break above this middle band, you get some type of tweet or anything from good old Georgie, who seems to be taking his grand old time because these legal issues do take time. You can't blame him. It is the way of the. It's the way of the world. It's the way of the market. Uh, it's the way of the law. So, uh, you know, keep this one on your watch list. Could be breaking out. Could be making a turn for the better, folks. I hope. It, I, I wish you the best. Um, GMVD. Ping, ping, bang, bang, bong, bong. I mean, this is the things that make me sing. These are the things that make me cheer. This is the make things that make me feel a little weird within my chest. Um, it gives me a tingle. It gives me a strum. It gives me a little bit of a tickle in my bum. I Should I just turn it off now or... Listen, I'm sorry. I don't know. Sometimes it just happens. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to heaven after that one. Um, but either way, God. this one looks good. GVM MVD. Uh, now you're breaking hard out. Your technicals are not overbought. I got to see your volume here. I don't know why there's always this goddamn thing in the way. I don't care about the headlines when you're right above. Like, just show me the vol. I guess it'll show me here. 3.62 million. Um, you're at, yeah, that get a lot of volume. That get a lot of volume. Um, yeah. Wow, it, this thing could keep going. Keep an eye on it. You want to break out of this downtrend, uh, but I mean, damn, that's a very, very good looking candle there. There is absolutely no separation, no gap to speak of on the daily. You are at, I guess, this previous line um, of resistance. You break above that, you could start really headed north here, folks. CDAC, CDAC, yeah, CDAC, CDAC, yeah. We in CDAC or no? We in CDAC or no? 
Um, damn, big old gap to the top side here. 46 looks like almost like 46, 41. You're currently at 21. Keep an eye on this. You get a reversal candle here. Now, this is a very tricky one. Trading at bottom, your RSI is oversold. MACD is oversold. It's still looking for them to curl up. Your volume is tremendous. Uh, you keep a continuation of that volume. You let the, a little bit of whatever they're doing to cause the price go down. Maybe you get a positive PR or something happens to get this going up. You're looking at 100% pop from this reversal. So let's see if it happens. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Uh, let's see what happens with CDAC. CDAC, SBNY. Holy McChunk. I forgot. This is one of the banks that got it completely overdone. They're going to get bailed out, obviously. Um, I don't, I can't, it had 84% return and it's still so low. Holy God. Um, I don't know what to do with these things. Uh, Jesus. So I, I want to say that they're going to come back. <laughs> I mean, guys, this, this, this stock is coming from 150 recently and now it's a, currently at 24 cents. I, it was at 12 cents. God, that could have been the most brilliant buy-in. I don't know why I haven't been focused on this recently. Damn. Um, oof. I mean, your RSI is still at seven. Your MACD is and the, is literally on another planet. I'm like scared. Could this go on a monster 100,000% run? I mean, geez, a Louisa, Mama Mendoza, I ain't never seen anything like that. Could this be an opportunity of a lifetime? I'm not sure. I, I've never looked at something at 84% up and, and been so hard. I'm, again, like, I, there's, I'm, I can't say that. I, I wish I could say whatever I wanted to. But I just can't. Um, let's go CNNA. I know that that's not on my list, but I know that somebody brought that up um, because my memory is flawless. I remember everything. Uh, there's really nothing that I haven't remembered ever since I've been born. Everything that was told to me, I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, you know, e trading sideways. I'm not in love with this. Sideways technical is not giving me anything. Volume isn't necessarily there. There's a few million shares traded daily. You are at a bottom. Uh, you do look like you could form a W formation here. Give me what's coming in the pipeline. I think you might have, but I didn't read the entire comment. I've been kind of busy today. That's why we got a late start and we really need to close up shop here because I've been talking facts for an hour. Um, or actually, it's been 40 minutes. So I got a little bit more time. But either way, um, SBNY, uh, I just can't get off of that one. It makes me want to squirt everywhere all the way to the ceiling. Sorry. And I mean like squirt my uh, pistol. Like the metal one, um, BCNN, this one looked good today, up 35%, held one pretty well here, uh, it's not going to show me a good chart, which I apologize for, I can't keep every time frame in check, uh, but you are going to get a continuation here, I really like your technicals, it's breaking through 50 on your RSI into the hot zone after a very, very long time at bottom, this could be ready to go again, pretty thin stock, looks pretty good, um, it's at a penny, um, and there's a spread to nine, so that can hurt you under the downside, but I do like this, I think it's waking up. You've had so much consolidation uh, that you're basically just sitting sideways on your technicals. They're not even near hot yet. So keep an eye on BCNN. Watch it trade. Uh, when you're actually, it, it, when the market's open, watch a trade and make an idea of it when that, ha or, or uh, then. Don't just go off of just a chart. See if you like the way it trade. Holy m God, dude. Was there extreme positive guidance on these banks today? Did they bank? Did they bail them out a trillion dollars? I know that they were guaranteeing nineteen trillion in deposits. What did I not see? How am I so dumb? Brilliant. Whoever bought this and played that speculation, brilliant. I don't know what I was thinking. I just. Ever since the banks went under, I just haven't had my mind on these things. Oh, no. Now I do. It's too far gone to gamble up here, but this thing could keep going for days, guys. I... It's just infuriating. I got to look at the history of what's happened to banks. If you know anything by what's happened in the last financial crash when the banks went down hard and they got bailed out, did they return to normalcy? Did they return to 100 bucks? 
uh, because that's a hundred percent gain from here. God, there's no way, right? There's no way, right? Let me know. Imagine going on the short side of that and getting on the long side at the bottom. Holy McChoochy. Holy McCookie. Holy McTonko. Um, wow. Won't say that again. Promise and I swear. Um, now, uh, XCPL had news today. My friend said, oh, it's up 50%. Yeah, well, you would have had to buy at the ask. There's no way you're going to get filled on a 350 million share bid if there was even any sales into it today. You would have had to smack the ask at three. Uh, it says it closed at four. I don't know how much volume was into the ask. This was all just on the company saying that there was going to be a webinar. I'm not willing to take out threes, try and hope for fours, which is a good gain. Uh, it's, uh, what, 35%, 33.3% repeating. Uh, sure. But you know, now not on this company, you got to give me some type of real push. Uh, yeah, I want to see something really started here, but they balloon the share structure way too high. The CEO is an absolute piece of shit. I don't believe a word that that goddamn uh, guy says. So, you know, Take it for what it's worth. If you're a new uh, investor in that stock, you'll find out soon enough that that guy's a complete liar, scumbag, piece of literal crap. Um, PBTS ran 18% today on the, uh, they're going to be dropping news tomorrow. Uh, I would take that for what it's worth. I remember that I always sell on news no matter what. I don't care what the news is unless it's, there's like billion dollars involved, like where they say they had a billion dollar contract. That enough will probably push it through the dilution that's set to hit the market. Uh, PBTS, very good day. Don't have a good chart for you. Will continue tomorrow, depending on when they drop the news, especially if they drop the news pre-market. Catch that move in the morning. Catch that push and do with it as you please. If you really like the news and you are along, this is a very bottom traded stock. Your technicals are not overbought, so you could still be in good shape regardless of what happens, okay? Um, we're going to go VPLM. Somebody wanted me to look at this. So I shall, so I shall, so I shall, said the snake. So I, so I shall, so I shall, so I shall, said the, uh, said the monkey. Sorry, dude. It's getting towards the end of the video. I've been talking for an hour. My brain is shutting down. Must rehydrate. God, there's nothing like a nice tea on a Sunday, ain't there? Um, VPLM. Flag City. Uh, if there was a city on the, this earth that was called Flag City, it would probably be based off of VPLM. I mean, this thing is what you read about when you talk about flags. Now, you are below this middle band, but just give this thing time. If it has news on the horizon, let me know if there's anything in the pipeline. If you get something that's coming in, it's going to push this stock to the north. I don't see it coming down any further south. If you do, it's going to be max low, which this wick on this previous day seemed to have hit, um, and that's about three and a half cents. You're currently at 4.4, which is a steady drop from there. I would not hope any of that, any of that on anybody, uh, but that's where I would be looking to buy either there or in a breakout of this downtrend of this flag. You start to see it pop up. You might want to get in. Maybe it creates a higher flag where it does go to the all-time highs or not the all-time highs, but the previous highs, 52 week highs of about 11 cents. That's a brilliant trade from 4.4. If you're buying it here and waiting, you do have a chance of making that money. Just get, hopefully it works out for you and doesn't fall back to 3.5 uh, and allow me to get in before that. Now, we're going to go with GDVM. GDVM uh, is one that has a huge following. Everybody seems to like it. Everybody seems like it's going to go to the moon. I can't tell you whether it's going to moon. I can't. Sh I can show you the moon, but I can't take you to it. That's up to you to decide of whether to buy or whether to sell or whether to hold or whether to fold. It's up to you and nobody else. Don't get mad at anybody. Don't get excited with anybody for taking a tip, for losing on a tip. It doesn't matter. It's your trade. You make your money or you lose your money, point blank, period. No way around it. Per now, your technicals are oversold. It does look a lot like this. Is it going to continue on something like this? Well, if it does, I hope that you sell it when it gets up here. This is based off of Vemos, which I saw in JPEX. It didn't work out in JPEX. I don't know if it was because of legacy issues or what have you. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these penny stocks. I've seen everything. I've seen every story told. I've seen uh, companies try and merge into this shell, pull out, go into this shell, create the same story. People don't seem to know what's going on. They don't know the history of the company. They don't know the cobwebs behind the back doors behind the closed doors. They don't know that private equity hates their guts. 
They don't know anything about anything. If you're new, you really have no eyes to the market. Now, I'm, when I say something about this kind of stuff, I, I trust me that I have a little bit of wisdom into it. And I be I have seen it. I've been trading for years and years and years. I've seen all these tickers get recycled many, many times. Um, okay, so just be weary of that. Know that you are you are keeping a bottom here. It is a little bit choppy. Uh, you know, I don't know whether it's going to come down. I don't know whether it's going to go up. I don't know if they're going to rectify what caused it to drop. I don't know if the, uh, the actual merger is going to happen in this shell. I don't know if they're going to take you to a dollar or take you to hell. It's not for me to decide that. You do your own DD, figure out what you want to do, and I hope that it works out for you in the best. MWWC. Close below this middle band. Not a great look. Uh, could finally be coming back down to three, starting to lose steam, but it still is flagged. You got to hold four. You got to hold four. Uh, you need a big bid to solidify and you need to start to press up uh, because if you, you're you going to quite possibly, uh, no, that's not a gap. Uh, you're going to quite possibly come back down to three. Uh, I'm not saying that you're going to get threes, but your technicals are pulling debt to the downside. That is not a good look. Hate the technicals on it. Hate the loss of volume. Listen, don't, you, you love this stock and you're long and you're in at one, great. Hold if you want. Um, it's up to you. Again, I'm not telling you to sell. I'm just saying what could potentially happen. You're going to need something to really come out that's good, that's going to send this and prevent it to hitting a three bid. HNRC. Last but not least, and I think this is going to be another 50 plus minute video, so I got to get going here. I... Uh, you're right in this middle band. Um, I, I would very much like it not to go below this. Um, I'm not in it currently, but you need to hold this. You do not want to see this come back down to previous lows. Uh, you need your technicals to start heating up again. You need that volume to come back. You need to hold this middle band. You need to hold basically 15. You do not want to break below 15. You are on a very thin ice. Uh, the company knows this. They're going to have to come out and say something and keep uh, and stop keeping investors in the dark. Um, but either way, just remember guys, that's it. That's all I have for today. I really got to get off here. Um, but know when to hold them, know when to fold them. It is a very important rule to follow. Uh, that's why in casinos, they change the uh, dealer every 30 minutes or what have you. Uh, the reason why they do that is for the same reason why you should get up. Um, it, because you're not always get, you're, you're not going to keep a hot hand on the same table. So you're going to eventually fall cold. They know that. Um, that's why you got to know that when the stock has gotten cold, when the volume dies, when the company starts, when the dilution takes over retail, when they're about to suppress the price again so that they can buy back in because they flip their shares. Uh, it's a money making market. If you are long, I wish you the best. I hope you the I hope for you. I pray for you. I give thee goodwill. I give thee good thanks. I give thee good uh, uh, blessings. Um, from the father above, but at the same time, I think you're at doomsday. I think you're, there's no chance of survival, no chance of redemption, no chance of revival. I think that you're uh, dead in the sand. I think you're dead in the ground. And then I think that you need to change your ways. I think you need to repent. You need to return to God. I think you need to find God first. And that's in the, in the sense of selling. God is a seller. He's not a holdler. He's not a hodler. He's not a diamond hand uh, he, uh, pumper. He is a salesman.